Hi everybody, it's me Monica and welcome to another apartment renovation. Actually, the last apartment renovation that I did on my channel was like in December last year, so that was quite a long time ago and as I said the last time since I got monetized, I thought maybe it would be cute uh, to recreate but on the other way uh, the first video that I put on my YouTube channel and that was actually a bohemian rustic type of apartment so this time I decided to make a bohemian a white bohemian apartment here in Evergreen Harbor uh, because to be quite honest I don't remember me ever, ever try to decorate the apartment in Evergreen Harbor. And this one is called... Let me just... Give me just a second. Okay, Beancrest Apartments 404. Just so you know, uh, I'm going to upload this as rooms, so... If you want to upload this, you will need to kind of put everything together in this apartment, but it is going to work <laughs> because I tried it out, just so you know. But I think that you noticed that I changed the doors and the windows with the tool mod. Uh, unfortunately, that's not something that is permanent. Uh, you will still need to remove uh, the original windows and doors to put this one, unfortunately. And also, I renovate this balcony outside. <laughs> I think you all know that in Evergreen Harbor, we actually have the balconies in the apartments but they're not functional and we can't put any furniture uh, on them and it's just so frustrating so I decided to use tool mod to decorate the balcony as well and unfortunately uh, the only problem is that you cannot use the furniture on the balcony and also I cannot put it in the gallery <laughs> which is very very shame uh, it's such a shame because I spent quite a lot of time doing that balcony and I was very happy how it turned out so unfortunately the only thing you can do with it is to watch it here on this video <laughs> I'm so sorry about that, but those are the EA rules that, yeah, that's, that, that's just it, you know, EA rules, full stop. Okay, so I wanted to say more about the Bohemian style. If you're not familiar with it, it's a very special style, especially for me because I renovated uh, my boyfriend's and my uh, apartment into the bohemian style and that's probably uh, out of the all modern designs this one is the closest to my heart I really love it it just gives me that warm tropical feeling but uh, it's not a typical bohemian apartment it's actually a white bohemian apartment i think the white bohemian apartments started to be a thing not so long time ago because you know that uh, in usually the bohemian uh, apartments and houses are like full of patterns but really like the colorful patterns and this apartment is not colorful it's more like muted in natural colors and it just gives you that warm warm feeling of space and I love that about this apartment and also my apartment in real life so 
you can see that I used a lot of wood textures and a lot of like uh, rattan lamps, uh, wicker, uh, plush furniture, like plenty of uh, pillows and things like that. Of course you can see that I'm using some custom content but you guys this time I decided that I'm going to use only custom content that is free uh, to for you to download and just to just show you some other things that I use uh, the thing that I wanted to say today is that I have also the Instagram account and my Instagram account is mostly about showing off my skills and just doing some challenges uh, using more custom content than ever. <laughs> um, doing some room renovations, designs and things like that. Like just some different things uh, that I usually do here on my channel. So if you are interested in something like that, definitely follow me there. Um, I'm really having a very wonderful time on Instagram and I've met so many talented, creative people who really, really enjoys this, this game as much as I do. So that really means a lot to me and I don't know, I just kind of like to spend more time with you there, guys. You, you cannot send me a message here, um, unfortunately, but you can send me a message on Instagram if you want to ask me, uh, if you need some advices, if you want to give me a critique or just anything, uh, feel free to do that on my Instagram page, my Symphony. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> and also, if you are first time in here, thank you so much for coming in. Uh, my name is Monica, and I'm uh, a very big Sims 4 fan, and I definitely really, really like to build in The Sims 4 and all of my videos are about The Sims 4 speed builds and just creating different designs um, that I just love. Um, I don't usually do a lot of modern designs, but Bohemian style is just... Oh, I really love it and I'm very happy that I decided to renovate one apartment finally. Usually I really like building uh, like huge builds or tiny builds, but I really like to have, you know, variety like interior, the exterior and a garden, things like that. I want to have it all, but I'm not going to lie to you, the last week I've been so ill, uh, I don't know what's gotten into me, like my boyfriend first got it and uh, then we went on Corona test, but, final, uh, but th thankfully we don't have COVID, so that's good, but uh, I basically sound like this. <laughs> And, you know, it's not the best melody, but yeah, and my nose is full all of the time and I'm coughing and it's just so annoying. Um, if you remember in my last build that I did like goth mansion renovation or whatever, uh, I just couldn't breathe. I, I couldn't speak because I couldn't breathe and like my voiceover was only... I don't know two minutes or something like that but okay I'm doing better now even though uh, tomorrow I need to go to Vienna to visit my sister and oh my god I'm really hoping that I'm going to be fine and that everybody is going to remain healthy and not sick because of me but yeah anyways um, 
The other thing I wanted to talk to you about uh, is how bohemian style really likes different textures in the design like and also it really likes plants so when i when i say textures i mean like different types of materials so like rattan wicker um i don't know as like wickered planters maybe or um rattan furniture and it also uh, really likes souvenir souvenirs from travels or like flea market items you know something hand handmade or something vintage just bohemian bohemian style is very personalized I don't think you can copy it from somebody you, you just need to feel it you know bohemian style is really like your own creation you know uh, just like a mirror of of your life <laughs> or something like that whatever um, but yeah, that's that's basically uh, what I wanted to say. Uh, you are creating this bohemian vibe in, you know, th throughout the time, and also you are taking in as much plans that you can take. Uh, I think there is there is not a proper bohemian apartment without plans. I honestly can't even picture or imagine that vibe. Like, you really need plants to, you know, just transform everything to to a higher to a higher level. Because there is something so natural into bohemian design and just that design is asking you to bring you know plants and especially i would say tropical plants uh, if you live in the area where you can have tropical plants in your home and uh, cactuses and just things like that and my own apartment you guys oh my god <laughs> Plants totally took over my apartment. It's just there everywhere. <laughs> I am beginning to think that they're going to, I don't know, leave some roots somewhere in, in my home and my, my apartment is going to become a tree or something like that. <laughs> oh my God, I'm just kidding. But... I really really have a lot of plants in my home and I'm very happy and grateful because I know that they love to live with me you know it's people are saying that it's very hard to maintain the plants but that's not so hard to me I don't know it's very uh, logical you know and they're always somehow going to show you how they feel like do they need water or they're fine or i don't know it's just if you see the dust on their leaves you know you you just spritz them a little bit with the water or just take a sponge and go through the leaves and just i don't know it's very nice to have plants at home everything feels so much more alive and they, that makes me really really happy uh, by the way guys please tell me in the comments how do you like this apartment so far uh, I know that you like prefer Victorian houses and historical builds and things like that and I didn't forget but as I said I was very sick 
so I just couldn't spend a lot of time on the computer. I was mainly like laying down and chillax um, on the couch with my boyfriend and drinking a lot of tea and just things like that. So I really didn't spend uh, a lot of time playing The Sims 4, unfortunately, that makes me very sad because you know how I love this game, but I just couldn't, I just couldn't focus on anything and just, I was so tired all the time, so here we are, here we are right now, I guess, and I'm really hoping that you are enjoying this little apartment. As you can see, uh, I put a lot of plants in the bathroom as well. Uh, I don't think that's very realistic. Probably if you're making like screenshots of your apartment uh, to put on the Instagram or any other social media, you're probably going to get all of your plants and put them in the bathroom, you know, and just take some pictures to look cute. But this is The Sims 4, <laughs> so we can have whatever we want and I'm very grateful that in The Sims 4 I never need to think about the lighting and the things like that when I'm putting my plants. I, could, I can put them anywhere and they're going to stay happy <laughs> for the rest of their life. <laughs> So uh, that's very, very pleasing and I'm very happy about that. And now you're going to see me struggling with this little balcony over here. I already told you that I made a balcony that is not really functional and in normal situations we cannot put anything on this balcony, but thankfully I have the tool mod from Twisted Maxi, so I just decided to build this balcony and I think it's super cute. Uh, probably if I didn't need to do this with the tool mod, uh, if I could do it like on the normal way, you know, if this could be a functional balcony. Uh, I would probably add much more details. Uh, this is not so detailed for me or for Bohemian apartment. Uh, but I really did it my all, did uh, give gave, gave my all, and just you know do do what I basically could do to make this an interesting space as you can see I put some lights in here and at the end I put some plants and just things like that yeah and as you can see I decided to make an open concept apartment and I really like that and we also have this open closet which is great I think that um, everybody would be grateful to have an open closet, especially if you're a woman. <laughs> so that's a very good thing and you know, you can, you, you don't have to change your clothes in uh, your bedroom or anything. You just have a special room for it and that's it. And also we have a small bar in the kitchen. Uh, that I made functional um, and yeah just things like that I tried to personalize this apartment as much as I could and I think it turned out super cute I really like I, I really hope you like it you guys and this is the end of my voiceover you guys we are almost heading to the screenshots so I wanted to say thank you for watching this video, thank you for subscribing my channel, um, please click like and I'm sending you a lot, a lot of kisses, I wish you the pleasant rest of the week and bye bye you guys!